Well, chances are, when you hear the name William Shatner, you remember him best as this guy. Captain James Tiberius Kirk. Yes, Tiberius is what the T stood for. Boldly going where no man has gone before during his time at the helm of the Starship Enterprise. Shatner turned his fictional space foray into a very real one last year. At 91 years of age, he is sharing some of his reflections on this planet and above it in a brand new collection of essays. We welcome Mr. Shatner to the show this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Uh, I it's, uh, it's early. It's early here in Southern California. I appreciate you getting up very early for us this morning. Uh, I want to start with your recent trip to space because initially you turned this opportunity down and you write in the book, I turned it down not for lack of curiosity or because I was afraid. I turned it down because I'm an actor, not an astronaut. Captain Kirk was a spacefaring hero. I was a 90 year old performer on Medicare. So what turned that no into a yes? <laughs> Uh, just the idea, uh, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, uh, why am I turning down this thrill? Uh, I, I thought it would be an innocuous trip up into space, back down. Little did I know that it would turn into an international event. I, I didn't expect that. And so I, I used that experience as part of this, this book about our uh, connection to the whole world and the universe and how my experiences of the universe taking care of me, uh, I, I write about it in the book from, uh, and use my musical career as a, as, a, as a skeleton so that from early failure to uh, a really great success at Kennedy Center this past while, uh, I, I just think that there's a synchronicity uh, that we all have. We just got to be aware of it. And being aware is the way to connect to the universe. I love that reflection and hearing about that from you. And we've heard that both from trained astronauts and people like yourself who've gone up that you realize we are so unified when you look at the world from above and not on a map with borders and separations and, and color coding. Um, if we can, I want to talk with you briefly about Star Trek because in this book, you're pretty candid about your friendship with Leonard Nimoy. This is someone that you've described as a brother. Uh, but there was a rift. Why did it happen, as you understand it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was just uh, focused on doing the role. But, you know, that's so many years ago, and I realized that Captain Kirk gave me the celebrity to be on your show this morning. <laughs> uh, but this book is a reflection on much more than, than uh, Star Trek. This book is a reflection on uh, uh, trying to see the patterns as you get mm -hmm. older. I don't think you get wiser when you get older, but maybe with a little distance you can see some patterns happening. And I see that in this conjoining with nature and the universe and how we're all entangled. And uh, that's the proposition that really is more important than anything else, our entanglement, which brings us all together. And these experiences that I had that illustrate it. Yeah, I'm fascinated to hear at 91 years of age, you say you don't feel like you get older or get wiser as you get older. Why do you say that? No. I feel like you've had so many experiences well, of which you share in the book. Yes, well, I think if you're stupid, if you're a stupid young man, you don't do anything about it. Hmm. You become a stupid old man. It just doesn't seem uh, uh, Canadian <laughs> to say you're a stupid old man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it, 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 you don't necessarily gain any wisdom or or any sagacity as you get older, unless you put those experiences to use. Yeah. And really nobody can tell anybody what to do. Uh, I found, I found, I have found that developing, cultivating my inner child to retain the curiosity of a kid uh, and to challenge everything and question everything and marvel at everything is the key to uh, uh, an interesting and passable life. Be curious, not stupid. These are words to live by, and I will take them with us. Um, thank you so much for coming on the show, Mr. Shatner. The book, if you're curious, is called Boldly Go, and he does go there. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, so early from where you are. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.